a misty cold finger numbing morning a walk to the nearest halwai or sweet shop wrapped to the teeth in woolens a wait in the queue and finally a bowl full of hot jalebi served with rabudi your teeth bite into the coiled sugary goodness of deep fried batter your soul sighs jalebi has fans in all of us whether eaten with the humble breakfast of puri sabzi or the evening snack of samosa and chai consumed alone in milk or with curd jalebi can be enjoyed hot cold or even day long stale for ages indians have been going gaga over this unparalleled dish so it will come as a shock to many to know that the origin of jalebi is not indian at all in fact the nation's beloved recipe is perhaps an import from its middle eastern counterpart zalabia or the persian zulbia the oldest mention of zulbia dates back to the early 10th century an ancient persian cookbook kitab al tabik by muhammad bin hasan al baghdadi mentions the recipe of the dish describing it as the sweet traditionally distributed among the masses during ramadan and other festivities the dish also finds mention in another 10th century arabic cookbook by ibn sayyar al waraq zulbia is still popular in modern day iran emerging as an indispensable dessert on the now rose the persian new year platter however zulbia differs from the indian jalebi in appearance as the former has an asymmetric floral coil pattern unlike the latter which is a series of circular coils additionally the middle eastern recipe mandates the use of a syrup of honey and rose water while a simple sugar syrup fills indian jalebi according to the hops and jobs and glossary of indian words and phrases The term jalebi is an indianized derivative of zulbia the recipe of which was brought to the indian subcontinent by persian traders artisans and middle eastern invaders throughout the medieval period it did not take long for the delectable zulbia to weave itself into the indian cuisine as the homely jalawalika or kundalika by the late 15th century jalebi had become part of indigenous festivities as well as personal occasions like weddings or other celebrations the dish even became a mainstay as prasadam in temples the first indian text with a reference to jalebi is priyam karna prakatha a jain text composed by janasur where he mentions jalebi as part of the dinner menu served by an indian merchant Later in 1600 CE the Sanskrit text Gunya Guna Bodhini enlists the ingredients and recipe of a dessert which is identical to the present day jalebi The Indian version of the dish became popular over centuries in northern India while in southern India it is mostly pronounced as jalebi be it the Bengali jalapi served as a country fare on Rath Yatra or the gujarati jalebi consumed with fafda on the shera jalebi has been essentially intertwined with the gastronomic demography of india several avatars of jalebi are now popular across the country's mainland the heavyweight jaleba from the night markets of indore the chanar jalebi from the kitchens of bengal's esteemed sweet makers the mava jalebi of madhya pradesh or its doppelganger khowa jalebi of hyderabad or even the imarti or jangiri of andhra pradesh named after the mughal emperor jahangir here's to more crispy jalebis filling your mouth with syrupy sweetness call what it what the charm of the evergreen jalebi will never fade from the indian food scene